what lessons should Liberians take away from this fine and how can we calibrate that into uh, our, our future? Wars have a predictable impact on societies everywhere, everywhere. The Americans went through a civil war. The French had their upheaval at the time of the revolution. And one predictable outcome is that it fosters deep divisions. All right, so once those divisions get in play, then you find people with a mindset that emphasizes difference. And they begin to bury commonalities. I had a, a, a course on Liberian history, early Liberian history, uh, pre-1800 Liberian history that I did online. And young people, you know, a lot of young Liberians uh, participated. And I, I will never forget a couple of comments that were made by people in that context. A young woman who was part Crump and part Don from Nimba, people that we call uh, Gio. And she's recounting during the war going through checkpoints with her family. And you get one checkpoint and they say, okay, this parent, you're going to speak. You know, don't, don't let the other person talk because we don't want for these the people at the checkpoint and, and so forth. So the family then experiences this dichotomy, which is, is a violation of who they are because what they are is a mixture. We are living with the consequence of that. And we have taken our war experience and we projected it back onto the past. So we say, just how we divided the day, the people in the past were always divided like that. And that's not true. And I'm hoping that out of this experience, people will take that with them. If you look at the Kip Mesurata area, when the Americans arrived, what you find is a kind of cosmopolitan uh, community, uh, uh, an entry port, right? Where people have contact with the, the global community. So the day settled there first, but the crew had a settlement around where the Freeport is now. And many of the men from that settlement will be the one to offload ships and so forth, right? And load ships that came. So they had a community right in that area. Then at the foot of Mamba Point was a Mamba Basa community. Now the the Mamba homeland and the the Du or Dukuya subgroup of the Basa, their homeland, are both in Magibi area. There's a place there, a, 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 a water uh, um, tributary that runs, initially it's a creek, and it runs down and empties into the Mesurado, right by, between the University of Liberia old campus and, and that uh, island on the other side. The, the water runs down and then it hits the Mesurado and then the Mesurado goes to the Atlantic. So that water was called a dew. You know, because coming from the homeland of the Du. So the Du had a community down there, a subgroup of the Basa, the Mamba, another subgroup of the Basa, had a town. So that each of these ethnic groups had a community where they could buy things that were coming from overseas and then ship it up to their homeland. You follow? And um, Vi Town on Bujra Island, right across from central Monrovia. That Vi town was there from the time the Americans came. But we know that the Vi homeland is in Kipma. So it was strategically there as a conduit for exporting and importing goods through that Kipma Toronto area. So it was a diverse ethnic community.